So it looks like Tamar Braxton might have some real beef with Candy because she's taking to her social media blasting a peach. But I think we figured it out. And why did you delete your Instagram stories, Tamar? Well, some of them. Let's unpack this. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So late last night, and this is why you need to follow me on Twitter and on TikTok, we had this breaking story where Tamar took to her Instagram story and said that a peach had threatened her. So... Tamar has now deleted this Instagram story, but thank God for social media, they caught it before she did. And I'm glad I saved it. So she first starts off this Instagram story saying, I got a story. Y'all want to hear about it? Then she says, I was threatened by a peach and they man. So immediately I'm thinking Candy and Todd. But then as I think about it more and more, I'm like, Okay, it, Pe Peach doesn't automatically mean Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, girl. Oh, this girl gosh. is delusional. But then she says, I feel like if they did what they did, they would have told the world. But because they don't want y'all to know how effed up they are as people and city officials, they ain't said ish. So when she said city officials, I thought to myself, well, Eva Marcel's husband, Michael Sterling, you know, he was running for mayor and things like that. So you immediately kind of think that. But still in my mind, I'm like, why would they have beef? I haven't really seen any beef. Just to backtrack a little bit. So Candy and Tamar had beef years ago, but they put their beef to the side when they were on Celebrity Big Brother together. And Tamar did speak on it and they talked their issues out. So I thought they were in a good place until recently. <laughs> Recently, Tamar took to social media and reposted a Carlos King story where he was just saying, you know, Tamar did a great job at her at her show. And she decided to take a dig at Candy. And she's like, oh, you don't need to steal anybody's life story. And then even then, when we reported on that, I was like, Tamar, you don't need to be in this. And what happened with you and Candy? I thought you guys were good. And I know sometimes you can have conflict with one friend or... You, there's conflict with your friends and you don't want to pick a side. But that wouldn't be consistent with Tamar. She always decides to take the immature route. Okay. So she doesn't stop there in regards to her Instagram story. So I immediately thought this was something to do with Candy. I'm going to tell you why it's definitely Candy in a second. So she then continues in her Instagram story and says, it's beef and it's a real beef because your husband stepped to me, Period. Merry Christmas. And I know you're thinking, Todd stepped to her? Someone on my, my TikTok called him a toddler. Okay, okay. Stop it, people. All right. So here's why I know it's candy. Okay, I'm going to just say allegedly and cover myself. But Tamar and Candy Escape were both on a billing last night in Tampa. So they were both in the same city. They weren't in Atlanta. They were in Tampa. They were all performing. Escape was the headliner. So along with Belle Bib Bib DeVoe. Just saying. So now it ma it's making a little bit more sense. And also, this morning, Tamar has deleted most of what she posted in the Instagram story. She still has up, I I've got a story to tell in another part. But she's te definitely taken out the peach and the city officials situation. I don't know what could have happened or what could have been said. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, y'all y'all all think that Candy is an angel and she's not an angel. Look, I don't think Candy is an angel, okay? But what I do know, Candy has been consistent. Candy ha has been consistently a good friend to a lot of people around her. And that's why everyone that's around Candy has been around Candy for a very long time. This is why Candy continues to win. She was just celebrating on The Real Housewives of Atlanta 10 years of bedroom candy. She continues to grow and elevate and build partnerships with real friends in her real life, executives and businesses, because she, based on what we can see, I don't know her for, from a can of paint, but from what we can see, she's been consistent. 
But the people that come against her, we have seen them be inconsistent, inconsistent friends, inconsistent when it comes to maturity, inconsistent when it comes to, oh, they're usually the ones antagonizing people and starting drama. And a lot of you in the comment section were like, Tamar, at this point, we're not here for these high, these high school, not even high school, junior high games. Say who it is or don't say anything at all. And I kind of agree because if it wasn't Candy, now we're assuming that it's Candy. Now we're involving Eva and thinking it's Eva. Say it or don't say anything at all. But it wouldn't be consistent with Tamar. And I know what you all are thinking because you all have been saying in the comment section, then Tamar, you know, come the New Year is going to be like, I've changed, y'all. I've grown up. And here's the thing. some A word of advice, Candy. You can make peace with a person, but I would remain cordial with someone like Tamar. Because Tamar, the one thing that she's consistent about is that she's going to be inconsistent and she's going to be immature. Tamar, do better. Do better. You're grown. You got a, you got a, ch a child that you're raised. Why are we getting into these reindeer games? Oh, because maybe you have a new show to promote. You know, she has that new show coming to Peacock, Queen's Court, where she's going to be dating her and a, a couple of other people are going to be dating. I mean, I'm going to watch because Tamar is still good TV, but she's still Tamar. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to the I did not expect on this Sunday to be talking about this, but here we are. Here we are. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.